Hello. Uh, so we moved, and I'm here with my little cutie Alton. You can see I should just flip the camera around. Things are all over the place because we're not finished moving, and we are actually still in. We are Lisa still valid in our old place until Halloween and so we still actually have stuff there that we're slowly moving in um and also and I just came back from a trip on Wednesday we we're supposed to come back Tuesday we went home for my 20th year high school reunion which is fun and also my sister you know I expected to see my my niece or nephew because they were keeping as a surprise uh, she was due September 30th, but didn't have the baby till October 11th, so I was there. Um, so, yeah, nice family trip, very quick, not relaxing like I thought it would be. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we're like in a new place. It's crazy to think that I haven't actually even been in Tulsa for two years yet. Like I moved November 14th, 2022. Hasn't been two years yet, and I'm in my third house. Um, and that's because like the first house, the townhouse, I moved to, we went to a single house maybe like two weeks before the lease ended. And then for this, we moved to this place a month before the lease ended. Um, I mean, they were offering a pre month of rent, so we're like, okay, sure. Um, I really wanted a single, a single family house. Like I, that was on my vision board for 2023. And so I got it. I usually get at least half of the things on my vision board. And, but it's like the area, I mean, the neighbors, everybody was nice, but it's like the area and like the house itself structurally wasn't like that great, even though it was like a good space, but we're like totally downsized by like 500 square feet, which is crazy. Cause I'm like, you know, like where do we put everything? But the managing, it works. Basically I had most of the stuff, stuff aside from baby stuff in like, a smaller apartment before so um but well aside from baby stuff and my husband's stuff because I didn't live with my husband before we married but um yeah I'm like what am I saying I, mommy brain all that stuff so much stuff going on I feel like I literally I wanted to come back from my vacation and just like quit my job like I'm so over it actually the day that I was supposed to be back which was Wednesday I was supposed to be at work at Wednesday and I wasn't because me and Austin got stuck in Boston um, overnight. And um, luckily, you know, I've got a hotel voucher, food vouchers, all that stuff. But Wednesday was my one year anniversary there, um, which is wild. So much has happened in a year. Uh, but I just, I'm so over it. Like, I'm so annoyed. I just want to, like, be a stay at home mom. Um, number one or have like just a part-time job or just something I do from like I'm used to working remote like I worked remote prior to this job I worked remote for like four years um and now it just seems so much harder to have a remote position uh to even find valid remote positions that are not just like some weird scammy thing um and now like watching what is that side dish if you watch dish nation you know there's another show called side dish that somebody was talking about ghost jobs like some a lot of like legit companies post ghost jobs like jobs like they have no intention of filling um like to like scare their current employees to like do a good job like we will fill your position or whatever so it's wild i applied to so many jobs and then it's like well create your own job like I was like, yeah, I, I did that. <laughs> it's not, it's, isn't it like it has its points and then doesn't. And like, I'm somebody who really needs stability, especially now that I have a child. <laughs> so, like I was working for myself like during the pandemic and everything um, and like stringing together uh, freelance things. But when you are in the care or you are having someone in your care it's just like a very scary thing to be like yeah i'll do that but i'm just about to be like peace out with my job and tell my husband to figure it out <laughs> so <laughs> that's how i feel that's that's what's happening here um and i need to find stuff time for creativity and all that stuff like i started to see a therapist the other week i have my second appointment with her on tuesday 
and I didn't even do like most of the stuff that she wanted me to do honestly but one of the things was like that she was telling me that I need to figure out time for my creative space because I'm a creative person and like I haven't written in so long I haven't had time to like sing and write poetry and all that stuff I sing to my child but you know like where is the time to just be Tiffany? Like, I have none. So, and honestly, like, the little bit of time I might have is at work. Even though I don't like it, it's the fact that they have given me, like, a room that I can stay and work in. Because um, nothing about this just job is private. Like, everything is so out and open. Everything is glass. Everything is, we're all sitting together in a staff office. Um, but now I have a room where I can just, like, work out of um, because I need to pump. I hate pumping but at least I have my privacy <laughs> um and like that is like the only time that I have if I like take a moment um to stop working because I'm going to be working on pumping still but <sighs> yeah if anyone is watching this and has some suggestions <laughs> please let me know <laughs> Please let me know, right? Because we're here. Like, we just want to hang out together. We just want to hang out together, me and you, right? Like, I hate having this hair. It's, it's, you know, they're nice and everything, but like, I hate, I want to, I want to just be with my child. So, that's where I'm at. That's where I've been, if anyone's been wondering. Um, having moments of, I'm losing it. <laughs> just trying to make everything work. Um, but yeah, anyway, thanks for listening. Comment below if you have some suggestions for me or know of anyone hiring remote positions, uh, part time or full time, or whatever. Okay, peace. <laughs> and all the vibes.